Now we're going to discuss EcoFill in a little bit more detail. The first thing I want to highlight with all of our products that are freezable is when you open your package, make sure to look for the freeze indicator. You can see this one has uh, a clear window at the bottom. There's no color in that. That's good. This, is, this product is not frozen. I do have one here and you'll see the window is pink. That means this product has frozen. If your product has a freeze indicator and it reveals that it's frozen, do not use the product. Call us. EcoFill is a charcoal color. This is a typical, it will darken a little bit when it dries, but this is the color you're going to see. And you'll also notice generally if it's been sitting for a while and you start to stir it, there's going to be some sludge on the bottom. This is fairly fresh. There's not very much. You may see more. It's okay. It will stir in. We just need to stir all that in. You do not want to shake any of our products and the reason for that is it will aerate the products. The air will want to stay in them and as you spray them it may want to boil out and, and create little air bubbles and imperfections. Uh, if you do shake it for some reason or you just let it sit for 24 hours before you use it. But normally just a nice smooth stirring is all you need to do and it may take three or four minutes or so. Just get all the solids worked back into it and then you'll be ready to spray. Fairly thin viscosity, you can see how quickly it runs off. If you're spraying it and you put on a heavy wet coat, it will run pretty easy. And sanding out a run in EcoFill is not a fun job, so that's definitely to be avoided. What you're looking for when you spray is just a, a light sheen. You want a semi-wet coat, not a heavy wet coat at all. So for a certified aircraft, we need three cross coats uh, to complete the system. Normally what I do is spray two cross coats, just allowing each coat to tack in between, and then I'll stop and let it dry completely and sand it to get out any imperfections that have shown up. And at that stage you can also iron down your tape edges, uh, sand your tape edges carefully, make sure everything is nice and laid down and smooth before you go on. Then you're going to apply your next coat, next cross coat of EcoFill, and that may be your final one depending on your situation. So put that on carefully and sand it. But what is critical as far as the application of EcoFill, when you stop a coat and you let it dry, it must be sanded, at least scuff sanded, before you can go on. If that EcoFill is past its tack phase and is dry and you don't sand it before shooting the next coat, you may have an adhesion issue. When we get to sanding EcoFill, once it's dry, it's going to take several hours to be dry enough to sand. Uh, depending on your humidity, EcoFill likes to hold water, so you're going to need a dry environment to get it dry enough to sand and to top coat. What you'll notice when you sand EcoFill, sometimes it's going to kind of curl up a little bit like a pencil eraser would on paper. And some of that is normal, but some of that can be minimized with the application process as well. Uh, lower humidity will help, and also be careful not to put your coats on too quick back to back, allow some dry time in between, and keep the coats light. Don't put heavy coats on. Uh, that's especially important if you're brushing the EcoFill. EcoFill can be brushed or sprayed. Uh, we recommend spraying. You'll get a, a better result, but if you need to brush it, you sure can. It won't hurt anything. One other issue we've had come up in tech support with EcoFill is if it's in storage, once it's applied on an aircraft, uh, before it's top coated, it is very important to keep it clean. EcoFill has a porous nature and so it can absorb all kinds of contaminants, uh, silicone, grease, uh, even road salt if you transport it in a trailer can all contaminate EcoFill. So if you do need to store it, you may want to wrap it up in, in plastic or covered in tarps, do whatever you need to do to keep it clean. That's very important.